Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Made to Move Monday. Today, we are looking at the new 2024 Millie Made to Move Yoga Doll. She is very cute. She is a standard smiling open mouth Millie. She has got blue kind of uh, marbled pants with a pink marbled top. She does not have any shoes. She has a standard middle part hairstyle. She is available at Target for $16.99. The prices on these have gone up this year. I usually wait till they're on sale, but I picked her up to review her, even though I didn't really need any more Millie bodies at the moment. Um, and we're going to take a look at her out of the box and compare her to some other made to move skin tones. All right, y'all, let's see her UPC before I forget. So we've got the other three on the back who are objectively more exciting. Brooklyn was our first athletic body. And we have Teresa, who is on a curvy made to move. She's not actually a Teresa mold, but when I see a brunette, I generally call her Teresa at this point. Here is the UPC for Blonde Barbie. pop her out and ignore the popping sounds of the background it takes me two seconds to rip these out um, <laughs> but she's very cute again no shoes full made to move articulation that is the whole point of buying these dolls this is fresh out of the box they can be a little stiff but Oh, my heart belongs to Made to Move. So, as we can see, she is a standard Millie. This is a 2013 Millie mold. Uh, she is very cute. Pixelation on her is not horrible. Uh, she does not have makeup really at all. Her back of her shirt is Velcro, so you don't have to worry about squeezing these Made to Move tops over the arms and bodies and things like that. Her tights, however, are just uh, elastic. So that's really all there is to talk about about this doll specifically, which we've seen a ton of yoga made to moves, but this is the newest iteration, which is helpful for everyone who wants to rebody their Millies. So I'm going to compare it to the other Playline Millie that is available right now and that is the Volleyball Millie. So these have a very comparable skin tone. There is not a huge shift, if any, at all. This one may be like a quarter shade darker if I'm going off the hands, but that could also just be shadowing in my setup. But again, this one is tall. This one is on the regular body. Uh, so, very cute. This one has more of a honey blonde to this one's platinum blonde. As you can see, there is a difference in the hair colors. So, this one is a match for this one. So we've got tall and original body in the skin tone. Now let's take a look at one of the harder to find ones. This is the pink top yoga made to move. As you can see, she is older, so she has a bit more of a glam makeup. And she is a shade darker. So this one, if you're looking for matches, this one is not a great match. There is a noticeable skin tone difference between these two. Now let's take a look at another one that pops up pretty frequently is Alex Morgan. So looking at these two, they're pretty close. So if you have a bunch that are Alex Morgan matches, you'll probably be good to go with this one. Again, these are both original bodies. Uh, so Alex Morgan, if you needed her for a match, you're good on this one. Let's take a look at some of our less common ones now. These are signature dolls. These are more expensive. Here is Lena from the new looks. These are a match. If you are looking for... Uh, dolls that say they're a good match for Lena, this is your good match. We've got Simone. This is a curvy. She is 
pretty close. It's not an exact match, but it is a slight, slight, slight undertone difference. I would say this is still a match. So we've got this available in curvy, tall, and original now. And now let's look at our last possible option that we have that's still kind of available, and that is our Lux L. Lux L is also pretty close. It's not exact, this is about half a shade darker, uh, but she's still a pretty good Millie match for this one. But if you have the choice between the newest Simone and the L, I think, I don't know, I may be going blind. Their legs look like they have a difference, but that may just because of the knee. But look, they fixed that knee problem that they were having. The knees are actually the same color plastic. That's nice. Um, so if you are looking for matches that are going to match this one, you have got three different options. We do not have a petite option yet for the skin tone because we got um, the new Christy Yamaguchi in pale and then we got a different one recently that I'm for some reason blanking on. Um, but these are very cute. So, if you guys have any questions on these, let me know in the comments. Again, you've got your Look Simone, your tall volleyball player, and your newest Millie. Those are all matches. They are going to match dolls that are the same as the ones I've shown you. Now, if you are trying to compare them to any of the redheads, the redheads have tonal differences it is subtle, but some of them have really peachy skin, or some of them have very yellowish skin. It is entirely up to the doll, and I cannot compare, I cannot take an entire video to compare to every single made to move off of these dolls because there are so many that have different undertone difference. So if I've showed them to you, trust that these are the ones that I'm going to recommend um, if you ask me, if you DM me on Instagram or anything. Um, if you do have specific questions about color shift matching, DM me on Instagram. It is the same username over there. All right, y'all. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments also. Be good, y'all. Bye.